everyone. Look, I got my kitty to come visit. This is Sheba, queen of the household. <laughs> Isn't she pretty girl? Well, yes, you are. This is episode 16. Ow. Ow, she bites. Oh, she's the bad cat. Okay, well, at least you got to see her. Episode 16. My name is Esther from Nevada. And we have two new uh, viewers, people who subscribe, Terry TN and CJ Creative Life. Very nice. Glad to have you guys. Very happy. Getting a nice group of people here. Well, I'm wearing the only finished object. T. It's just a nice, plain... A garter shawl with a ribbed edging. See? It's very comfortable, very nice. It's made out of acrylic from Lion Brand. Um, and this kind of acrylic, it's called uh, Heartland acrylic, is good. It's a good acrylic. It comes in beautiful colors and it, it pills after a while, but not that much. And it's worth it. You'll get a couple years wear out of it. You know, which is good. It's good for me. Because I love shawls and I want a new one all the time. So, my other ones are all kind of, my others, I have a blue and a purple and they're kind of um, old and raggedy now. But this one's brand new. And of course it's really for next fall, winter, but it's a little chilly today. We're going to have a little rain, I guess, a little thunder. Well, you remember this pattern I showed you? I started it. Now, I thought, if you look close at here, I thought there was three spines. Now, now that I look at it, there's only one spine. There's a line here and a line there, and I'll tell you how that got there. Much to my surprise. Oh, I haven't finished the row. Oh, my goodness. Well, it got there by changing from stockinette to garter. So this, that makes the line. And here's the, you know, the spine. And here's the other two lines just made by changing from stockinette to garter. Isn't that pretty? So it makes like a big garter diamond on it. I love it. It's going to be fun. Turns out it's boring to knit. Which in a way is good because that means it's easy to knit. I don't, you know. It isn't too difficult. I don't have to look at the pattern at all anymore. Until I get to about two-thirds done. And then I'll you change again and make this little line and this little line as the stockinette within the garter. Aha, uh -huh, now I get it. Now I see what they're doing. Very clever. If I had striping yarn, it would be fun to make this again. I'll, I'll make it again someday, maybe. But it's really, it's really kind of boring. But, as they say, back in Alameda, boring is beautiful. <laughs> Meaning no drama, no high excitement, just nice, boring living. That's, that's good stuff. All right. So that's going. I'll put that over here. The other thing I started was something called Quaker Lines. Isn't that pretty? Another thing that they suggest striped yarn, but I don't have any striped yarn. So, but I love it. It's made with sock weight or a fingering weight. And I use this sock I have that's um, variegated, green variegated. So it's not exactly stripes, but a little bit. This is just the very point. This one's a little more complicated. I do have to read the pattern to keep going. And it just gets bigger and bigger, and then you change direction somehow. I don't get it. Right now it looks like a bathing suit bottom or something. Or a nice beard, a nice green beard. I like the green. I like the green. I wish I had something all this nice Kelly green. That's a pretty green. You know, I was thinking... Um, only I've got one ball of yarn I showed you I got from 
a vacation in Alaska. I only have this. And I'm not sure that when this runs out, this will be big enough. So I found another yarn to put with it if I need more length. And it's this. Now this is sock, but I thought I would put them together and make a you know, worsted. So I'd use two strands to make a, uh, I think this will, I think it'll be all right. I tried all my yarns next to it. No, everything looks muddy except for something bright. It's this bright blue in here that if you put anything that's not bright, it just looks like mud in there. It's just terrible color. But this is bright enough. So, and I think it brings out the purple. See, there's a little purple in the yarn, in this yarn. So, I'll try it. If it doesn't work, of course it doesn't work. I mean, I'll just have to go to a store and buy something. But I'm trying not to buy anything. That's my constant uh, goal in life, is to stop buying yarn. Use what I have. It would take years to knit up all this stuff. But that, oh, somebody screamed outside. Hmm. But that would be a long range project. Stop buying yarn. I'd probably have to go to a psychiatrist for it. So that's another thing. Quaker Lines. Now, Quaker Lines is by Stitch Nerd Designs. And it is on Ravelry. I don't recall if it's free or not. I don't remember. I might have bought it. It's really cute. Quaker Lines on Ravelry. I'm not sure what it costs. Put that up there. Now, here in the States, they have a show that's called Knit and Crochet Now. And here in Nevada, it's on twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. And I watched it yesterday, and there was the funnest little pattern I just fell in love with. It's very simple, but I've never made this before. It's called Shetland Lace. This. Isn't that cute? I thought, look at the nice holes, but with a nice firm, uh, I don't know what you call it, edging around each one. You know, it isn't just a one stitch, it looks like it's a two stitch. Anyway, this pattern is using a worsted yarn, and then you make, you cast on 22 stitches or any more if you want it bigger, and just make a nice long scarf. And I thought, would this be cool in cotton for summer? Just as a decoration scarf, not because you need a scarf in the summer up here. I think that's wonderful. I have lots of different cottons. And let me show you the one I was thinking of. I'll be right back. Of course I can't find it. Well, but this is the type of yarn. It's just the color I was thinking was blue, light blue. It's real pretty. It's called uh, jeans or something. Uh, Levi's or not Levi's. Uh, denim. It's called denim. But this is the type of yarn. It's cotton and it has little specks like um, tweed in it. This would be kind of nice too. Something I could wear with anything. But I like that denim. I have it over there somewhere in the um, piles, and boxes, and cupboard, and everything else, shelves. Um, I thought that'd be really fun, this pretty thing. I've never heard of that. Shetland lace, I thought, was some sort of fancy, hard-to-make thing. But this isn't. It's just a multiple of four and a six-row repeat. Five-row repeat. Five. And it's a garter base. So it's very easy. Oh, I can't wait to start. It looks kind of like crochet a little bit. I like that. I'm, I'm going to make that at some point. Maybe we'll cast it on. I found another pattern. Now, this seems fantastic, but there's a problem. 
See that pretty thing? Nice, huh? Big, giant lace. I love that. Garter here. But you know what you do? You start with the lace, which means you must cast on at the beginning 287 stitches. And then you start working the, the lace. And by the time you have, which it has decreases in it, you, and by the time you get 127 stitches, then you're ready for the easy garter. Oh my gosh, that's gonna, I'm gonna have to wait till these other projects are done so I can just concentrate on this. Holy cow, starting with the lace, starting from the bottom. That's never, that almost never happens in shawls. You always start from the top. But it's so lovely, it's such big lace. That's what I find so interesting. Big leaves. Boo boo. I don't know what color. You know, I have some green. I have some really bright, bright green. Tiny bit blue in it, but it's more green than blue. It's really pretty. It's, it also is, is this same kind of acrylic. Um, I think I might use that. That'd be pretty. It's called garter leaves. And... Um, I think it's free on Ravelry. I think so. That would really be fun. I have notes a little bit here. I see, I'm going to try to put show notes at the bottom of the podcast. I'll put it, you know, down there. And um, I think you hit see more or something like that. And I'll put the notes in there of these patterns, the names, and at, you know how to get them. I'm going to try that. And I wanted to say hi to Nitpicky in PA. And where you been? She, uh, we wrote each other, I think, a couple times or notes or something, and then I haven't heard from her. I'm hoping you're fine and knitting away. Oh, my nice ladies. Oh, boy. It's so fun to get to know you. A few people have wanted me to get to know them, you know. Uh, you know I know everyone doesn't want to write old Esther a letter, but Janice Staniforth and Carola Rother and uh, several others. Uh, Kate Babbitt, a little bit. And then... I'm not good at Ravelry on the, I have a, I put a Ravelry group in there, and, but I'm not good at it, and I apologize for that. But it's just too much work, it's too much computer stuff, I don't, I don't get it, how other people can keep, keep up with it all. But there's a really nice girl who, who got on there a lot, and I'm trying to find her name. She's from England, you know who you are. <laughs> I appreciate you joining in so much. Mitzi Curry? Mm. I wish I knew more of you. Joanne Curry. I like that name, Curry. Dottie W. Fanny Larkins. Oh, I just like to see your name, so heck. Some people like me to do that. Okay, I got a magazine. And I haven't read it yet. Oh, that's exciting. So I thought I'd look at it first with you guys. It's Noro Knitting Magazine. And it's not that I have a bunch of Noro. I don't believe I have it. No, I have one skein of sock yarn. It's a big skein. And I'm going to make some kind of cute shawl with it. It's purple and green and stuff. But you can use other, substitute other yarns. I certainly don't have much Noro. Now, the ladies in my knitting group hate Noro. And you know why? Because they said it's full of vegetable matter. Oh, pish. Noro's terrific. It's terrific colors. Terrific um, quality. And so what if it has a little branch or two in it? Uh, sometimes I lose patience with people. Don't like Noro. How 
earth can that be? But they all agree. Oh, yeah, me too. Oh, yeah, me too. We don't like it. Oh, pish and pish. Pish and fiddle. I like it. Always have, always will. When I was a new knitter, I made long scarves out of it. Boy, was I popular. People wanted to have my scarves. I'm looking for patterns, and I only have this advertisement. Oh, wow, that's pretty. Okay, I'll show you in a minute. Okay. Oh. Doodads. Uh, are you a doodad knitter? Little fish and jellyfish and seahorses? I'm not. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, these are nice. That's quite nice. That's like a poncho cape thingy. Just slip it over your clothes, whichever you're wearing. Oh, that one's pretty. That one's pretty. Very colorful. That one. Mm, yes. I like that. Of course, I'd have less red in mine. My red goes a long ways. I only tell you how to slip knit mosaic knitting here. That's pretty. That's mosaic knitting. Shadow play. That's pretty. That looks like something you'd have to learn, huh? Yes. Oh, they got all the designs in here. Oh, here's the designs. The patterns. That's pretty. Oh my goodness, that's a work of art. Oh, I like that. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that big giant thing. Isn't that pretty? It's pink. Oh, speaking of pink, I sent for pink yarn. What's wrong with me? I've never worn pink in my life. But all of a sudden, I like it. I like the way it looks. So, I... And I saw on the Tea House Knitting podcast. Oh, that's a good one. You must try it. Tea House Knitting. Uh, she's a, a nice girl from uh, Seattle, Washington. She's got two cute little kids and a nice husband. And she is a good knitter. And she makes great kid clothes, too. She's a good knitter. She showed these socks she made. Now, the socks are from a yarn I had, but I may already made up into socks. They're green stripes. And the, the sock... You know, the main part of the sock is green stripes, but the heel and the toe are pink. And that, I would never have thought of that idea to put those together. It was gorgeous. Green and pink. Oh, my God, who'd have thought? So I sent for pink, and I have like, some green, different green, and I'm going to make some socks that are green and pink. And uh, I hope they turn out right. Or well, I got enough to make a shawl that's green and pink. I bought two green, I bought three colors from Knit Picks. A dark green, a light green, and a pink. Maybe it'll be a shawl. Maybe it could be a three-color shawl. I think that'd be pretty interesting, pretty different. Especially for me to wear. Well, I, this is the colors I like, really. But I like that pink and green. It was stunning. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to try that. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that. Blue shawl, isn't that pretty? And it has the pretty, um, oh, it has that double spine thing in the back. Oh, I love that. And the pretty lace, that doesn't look too hard either. Oh, that's a, that's a definite maybe there. Oh, aren't these nice? This is the kind of thing I like. Pretty shawls go around your neck like that. And then this one, oh yes, the pretty edging. So it has some holes. That is a cowl, isn't it? Let's see what that's called. That is a great big cowl. Well, maybe not, but it looks like one. No, it's a shawl. Well, it sure looks like a cowl, the way they have it wrapped. It's pretty. Oh, look at the shape. I don't care about the color as much. Look at the shape. Look at all the lace and the prettiness. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, that's so beautiful. That is called, here comes the sun, I think. 
It's the fairy, pharaoh, how do you say that word, pharaohese inspired center panel. That's what I like. An elastic Russian bind off finishes the dainty scalloped edge. Yes, indeed. That is a beauty. Oh my god. Melissa Leapman, she's a good pattern writer. She wrote this. I mean, I'm not making it. But I thought that's pretty. I think that's crocheted. No, it's knit. Oh. oh, big old thing. Oh, wow. Might have to look into buying the yarn for that. I'm getting the exact same yarn as they have. Oh, would that be pretty? And that would take away my not buying yarn. That would just destroy it. Oh, well. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. The stripes, the blue stripes. That's what I love. Oh my word. Aren't these interesting? And another one of these little things. I showed you one of these before. It's a little short poncho. A little short thing that just goes above your waist, actually. You just pop it over your clothes you're wearing. This. That's pretty. This is fancier than the other one I showed you. The other one was in vogue. What, uh... I gotta tell you, but this is called, it's Noro Knitting Magazine, it's issue 8. And does it have any more designs? It looks like this. You should get it. If you're interested in these things I just showed you, wow, they're beautiful, aren't they? Oh, I love that purple one. There's other things I'm skipping by, because I don't care for them, but you might like them. Oh, my husband just came home. I'm I'm making my podcast. I'll I'll oh. get to you in a minute. Oh, isn't that oh here now is Noro Crochet. Oh my goodness, crochet. That's a whole different animal. That's pretty. The next one. <laughs> I could do without this for the rest of my life. I'm not a fan of this type of crochet. Holy coley. Look like um uh, Gone with the wind, took the curtain down. Oh, that's pretty. The green shirt. Oh, I think I see something in my future. I got, I have some yarn that I can make that with. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, my goodness. Okay, that's the end of that. Isn't that fun? Oh, this is a good magazine. I'll be reading that again and as soon as I finish my myriad of projects here. I'm starting something. Ooh, good. I'm glad you looked at that with me. It was fun. Well, I guess that's all for today. I don't have any new yarn to show you because I've been good, but I did order some. So next time, I'll show you my pink and green yarn. And then I got another ball of pink. What was that for? I don't know. I should have a lacy shawl, I suppose. Who knows? Why just buy it? Who knows what it's, I'm going to make with it. That's a surprise for me. All right. It's been great talking to you. See you next week.